Uh, zookeepers are working to keep gorillas and other animals safe during the coronavirus pandemic, as it remains unclear whether or not endangered species are at risk of contracting the virus from humans. There are fears that an outbreak could have catastrophic implications for conservation, as Rajid Ahmed reports. Gorilla Yene and her newborn hanging out at a German zoo. They're members of an endangered species, and zoos have worked hard to increase their numbers in captivity through breeding programs like this one. Should it be found that COVID-19 can affect great apes, our closest living relatives, then the outcome could be catastrophic. So zookeepers have been taking every precaution. We have now reduced our team to a specific core team. This means that anyone that doesn't have anything to do with great apes must now do other work. And it's not just gorillas. Zoo caretakers around the world are on high alert for each of their animals, many endangered, watching nervously for any signs of the virus. So for animals, if we're looking for signs of a respiratory issue, we're looking for things like um, coughing, potentially sneezing, nasal dis discharge. Um, animals being lethargic is a really good key that they may not be feeling okay. Fears were heightened when this tiger at New York's Bronx Zoo tested positive after developing respiratory symptoms. It's hoped the New York case is an isolated incident, but conservationists don't want to take any chances. In Africa, great apes have already been put on lockdown, with gorilla tourism suspended in an effort to protect the animals. Back at Rostock Zoo in Germany, and Zola is pregnant too. Gorillas have been known to catch human illnesses, so the focus now will be to protect as much as possible our primate cousins from COVID-19. Regid Ahmed, BBC News.